All right, Link. This is what you've trained your entire life for. You just need to get your Deku Leaf out and fly over to that island over there. Are you ready, Link? Are you ready? Three, two, one, fly! Ah, I forgot to equip my Deku Leaf! Link died that day because he was not very bright. Hey everybody, it's the Purple Toad here, coming at you live from the Black Abyss that is my basement, and welcome back to some more The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker HD. In the last episode, we got here to the Forest Haven, and didn't make a lot of progress, uh, but hey, we gotta get somewhere. Um, so right now we are going to conduct the winds, or, and in this episode we're going to be going into the Forbidden Woods to rescue the little forest guy, Makar, because he has not come back yet for the ceremony so if we jump here and we fly strategically over to this tornado or we might not even need the tornado um, just make sure you have a lot of magic power stored up here because you're gonna need it um, I think definitely these bushes will have some in it so you don't even need to worry about that um, so that potion that we couldn't get in the last episode I got here it's the blue potion right here um, so that is the one that my brother drank, so now I can show it off even though my brother drank it. So, uh, it, all, it all comes around somehow. So let's change the wind one more time, because we don't want to be caught off guard like we were that one time when we tried to be stupid. Alright, so basically what we're going to do here is wait for this tornado to come around, and then it'll lift us up into the air. And my phone is ringing, so I'll cut and see you guys back here right now. Jeez, two episodes in a row with a phone ring that caused an edit. Wow, this is a new record for me. So anyway, oh jeez, we're going to have to wait for that thing to come around, aren't we? See, Link's even tired. He's like, oh, we have to really wait for that. Um, So yeah, I guess while we're waiting, we can talk to this guy. Nice job, swordsman. It looks like you've already mastered using your deku leaf. Here, quick study. First thing you should do is cut the grass around here and replenish your magic power. Entrance to the Forbidden Woods is on a much higher level than the entrance to our forest haven. In order to get up to such a high place, you'll have to catch the swirling updraft. Can you see the updraft, swordsman? Yes, it's right behind you. The updraft around here moves swiftly. If you have time to jump, just right so the wind will fill your deck leaf and carry you into the updraft, giving you the lift you need. Once you're floating on high, just let the wind take you to the entrance to the woods. Alright, I was expecting the current to keep on moving when we were talking to him, but apparently not. So I guess we're still going to have to wait. Eh, not too long. But anyway, um, in order to get this blue potion, I had to drink, I had to like use the fairy that um, uh, we got in the Dragon Roost Cavern. So uh, yeah, we aren't going to have a fairy anymore. Uh, but the blue potion does what the fairy does and more. There's a tingle bottle down there. I don't know how we're supposed to get that, um, but... Yeah, I would not die for that. Oh, Link! Getting some speedrunning strats there. Alright, oh, get the heart. Because I died. I, I lost a quarter of a heart. Because I jumped to the death of the deep ocean without equipping my Deku Leaf. So, let's walk into the Forbidden Woods. So, it's kind of like a rustic area. It doesn't look too different from the Forest Haven, but looks can be deceiving. Alright, so this thing looks important. We got some green shoes around here, but we aren't going to worry about them. Uh, as you can see, there is a teleportation pot there, so that is always good. Um, so what are we supposed to do with this guy? Oh yes, I remember. Okay, so there are some... This is just a very, like, it's a not a narrow dungeon, but like one that is... Oh jeez, nice fake there, I guess. Um, this, it, it's just like a, it's a climbing dungeon, it isn't like, it isn't for just walking around, it's like you go strictly up the whole time. Alright, shoes, come on now. Alright. Alright, one guy fell down, so we don't need to worry about him. So let's open up this treasure chest. And inside there will be the dungeon map. Alright. So yeah, very easy to get, um... Which makes you think that this dungeon is going to be a bit tricky because the dungeon map is so easy to get. So, um, I don't think we can do anything with our grappling hook because they usually are just one dungeon specific. I wish we kind of used it more, but whatever. Alright, oh uh, yeah, we can't grab onto anything around here. Nope. Alright, so, yeah, we can't really do anything about that. So, 
Let's go over here and find this walnut. Yep. Uh, so yeah, we gotta take this walnut over here because this is the only thing that can destroy that blue eye thing. So let's throw you. Boom. You are dead. So now we can go through this door that it was guarding. And this is where the dungeon really opens up. You got like these crazy green tentacles all over the place. It's very scary. Um, so as I was saying before, these pods replenish your magic. So you don't need to worry about that. Let's drop... Oh, the speedrunning strats. Jeez. All right. Um, let's go over here. I'm not sure we can do anything over here. Um, but it will give us a bit of leverage to get higher up. As you can see right here. So let's just keep on climbing this place. Using our Deku Leaf strategically. Boom. Got it. All right. Uh, I don't know where to go, so I'm just going to fly up into the air. But now I do, so let's go over there. Ha, <laughs> that rhymes. So I almost forgot to pull out my Deku Leaf there. But whatever. Bombs will also work on these people. So, boom. Shh, come on. I was trying the Link Combo move. Link Combo. Boom. Oh, poor Chew. I mean, not poor Chew. Whoa, nice. Countered him in midair. Not poor Chew, because they deserve to die. They're just nasty little Chews. All right. So time your bomb here and throw and destroy. Boom. So, yeah, this... It's kind of got some creepy music. It's not really like a track per se, but it is just some creepy music. So right here, um, this is another function that the Deku Leaf can do. Uh, you can, bl if you're just standing still, you do not want to fall down there, very obviously. But if you're just standing still and you're not in the air, you will send out a flurry of winds at your command. So this part always seemed so buggy to me. Like, I'm not even sure. Wow, I got it my first try here. But I, like, you have to, um, blow those panels over there, and they will move this little care or this gondola over. Um, but I always thought it was so glitchy, because, like, it never really worked for me. I don't, I don't know. Um, but these guys we cannot kill just yet. We're going to need something else to do that with. Can we spin here? Nope. Alright. Maybe we can spin to get it off. Boom. Nope. Alright. So, you don't want to worry about these guys right now. Um, but these, okay, so the pods that you jump into and the pods that these enemies come out of are different. So maybe we throw this at them. Nope. I know we can hit them. Oh, no, we can hit them with our grappling hook. So, so not all. Oh, we got a golden feather from them. Yes, um, another function of the grappling hook is that you can steal enemies right off the, uh, steal items right off the enemies. No sweat. So, yeah, that's nice. We got a golden feather that we... We got, we got, we lost a golden feather in the dragon roost, but now we got a golden feather. So the last guy I believe you kill will turn into one of these jumpy pots. So we don't need to worry about finding one around here. Oh, uh, nope, not good. Let's turn around and jump to the sky. All right, we got another one of these glitchy pots. So, oh yeah, you can also blow their wings off. So that's helpful. Um, we could go in this, no, we don't have anything to get in this door yet. So, let's go. Oh, well, yes, we're getting the thing that we need to get this door into over here. All right, so one good, like, I seriously don't get it. Like, they, it starts spinning faster if you just, like, blow it with the wind once. I, I do not understand it. All right, so now we need to keep this nut safe. So we're going to drop it here, and we are going to blow some more of this wind. Pick it up and straight strategically jump and throw and wow we're on a roll here in the dungeon it usually takes me a while to just kind of get all this down pat but i guess i've got it so now we got kind of another room oh surprise roots here we need to kind of wander around back where we see that the entire thing is covered with roots so what else to do but blow the nut right off of its boat so yeah, um, there is an island that utilizes the uh, the fan or the Deku Leaf and like blowing these nuts around um, later in the game. So yeah, that's oh come on, dude. Ah, come on. All right, three, two, go. That didn't work either. All right, three, two, go. That didn't work either. All right, we're gonna line up our shot this time. So yeah, just blow it out of the way, and it is very easy to do. Uh, yeah. I thought that you had to like roll into it before the uh, the weeds sprouted up, but that is not the case. So in here we got this huge giant plant, and it kind of 
the camera swivels around here to try to give us a clue of what to do. Oh, so I guess we can use our hookshot here. Um, so let's jump up on here. And that dang cutscene plays out. I guess it's not that long, so whatever. But as you can see, the the little the bushes in here are much more like spiky. Like further implying that this place is very forbidden and evil. Alright, so we do not want to fall down there just yet. So, um, good thing is, with if you have the Deku Leaf out, um, you can kind of save yourself if you mess up during platforming sections. Um, because it is very easy to mess these things up. Okay, so it looks like we need to take this thing over yonder. So can we clear that jump? Yes, we can. So inside this tree, there will be some rupees for you. Whoa, kind of, Link was not, Link's just holding his, uh, Link's just holding his hands up in the air like he just does not care. Um, alright, cool. So, um, looks like, oh yeah, we need to jump over here, which will do it, and bye! Yeah, um, if they see you for a while, they will disappear, so watch out for that. Alright, on my dungeon map, it looks like we're going in the right direction, so this is nice. Um, these guys look a little different than the acorns, so we do, oh boy, these are my favorite, oh, ambush of little spiky people, good thing is, um, they will almost all fall down into that pit. Uh, so basically, these guys will jump on you, which is not very nice, and you just need to do a spin attack to get them off. So, uh, should we die for the chest? I think so. Yeah, these guys will not kill you, so that's good. Whoa, frame rate there, because we killed so many of them. But once they get all clustered on you like this, I love doing this. Woo! Goodbye, spikies. So yeah, they'll all die with one simple spin attack, and we can get our yellow rupee. Oh boy. Um, well, it's good that I showed off how to kill those guys. Um, I think we were going this way. Yes, yes. So yeah, they aren't too much of a bother because they can't hurt you at all. They just slow you down. Uh, but it is best to kill them as fast as you can. Uh, some of them leave items, others don't. Um, here we got kind of a maze here. Do not go running blindly because you will get hurt most definitely. So, he kind of outlined the path that this place is setting for you. Let's pick up this bomb and lay it down right here. Yeah, if you press B, you can just um, drop the item down and not throw it, which is very nice. I wish I knew that earlier. But, ooh, we got a cinematic treasure chest opening, so this must be important. What is it? It's the compass, probably. Yes, it is the compass. Now we can see where things are hidden. All right, so it looks like we got another treasure chest around here. So let's go pick up another bomb. And maybe throw it past the vines. Go. That did not work. Okay, can't go through there. I guess we're just gonna have to retrace our steps. In here, over there, everywhere. Uh, can we go through here? Yes, we can. Oh, come on. All right. So let's kind of go through here. This is where it kind of gets spaced out, and it's kind of hard to see where to go. So it looks like it's gesturing me to go through here. It looks like we're going to have to circle back around. Oh, boy. Do I want to go? Oh, jeez. This is crazy. Um, maybe there's a heart in here or something because I'd really like one right now. Guess not. All right. So, slowly. I just watched um, Cosmo's speedrun of this game, which is very cool. So, like, he does this all. He has this all memorized, and it's it's all great. Um, so maybe I can jump over this. Maybe. And I like put up. Oh, nope. Doesn't even let me jump. Alright, maybe I can like glitch through with the Deku Leaf. No. Alright, I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah. I should not. I should not be all careless around here. Alright, go back here. Because I think there's a way to throw that bomb to get that door. And I really want to get that chest. So don't go too fast here. Oh, trying to trick me there. Nope. Alright, not gonna work. Well, I kinda know where to go now. So it's gonna be very much easy times. So let's get this bomb and throw it a little further this time. Go. And it worked. It will work. Awesome. And now we got a little better idea of where these roots pop up. Weed. I call them roots, tentacles, and weeds all in one episode. What are they? Make up your mind. All right. Um. So circle back around here. I bet there's some sort of like on Zelda wiki. It like has it like has the lines drawn out of where these things appear, so you can just go a lot faster. But if we go in here and open this treasure chest, we get a small key. So I guess this was actually supposed to get. This is actually what we we're supposed to get. All right. Oh, I wanted to feel cool by like adventuring, but I guess not. Alright, so if you want to get these pots, be my guest. And I'm going to be my own guest, so I'm going to get some of these pots. Um, so basically, yep, they'll just have tons of hearts inside if you want to replenish. Um, so, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess this is just a fast way to get back. 
So I guess what I was supposed to do is actually what I was supposed to do. Uh, I think there just might be magic or other stuff in those other pots, so don't worry about that. But as you saw, oh, come on, dude, I killed you. Your dudes, I killed you. Um, but as you saw, oh, no, now it's some green shoes that we're just going to not bother with. So as you saw in here, there was a room with a locked door, which is over there. So now we can just head on over and do stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm on fire with this dungeon. No mess up so far, except if you count the phone ringing. Um, alright. Um, so, I think if we blow these guys' wings, they will fall down there and die. I don't know if that's true. Um, but they are really annoying here. Alright, I guess they just kind of get petrified there. Okay, so, can we do this on the first try? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Can we do it again? There we go. Uh, I might not have enough speed. Come on. Come on. I think I got it. Alright, cool. Nice. Alright, we're not gonna bother with you guys. Alright, sure, we're gonna bother with you guys. Sure, we're gonna bother... Okay, whatever. You want to survive? Fine, that's okay with me. I think there are some more crazy roots in this place. Oh, no, it's just a big open battleground. So these guys are very much not nice. So they will spew these um, spiky guys around at us, and we just need to kill them, and they will, most of the time, give you something nice. Um, but this guy just gave me some magic. Ugh, magic, I don't need that. Uh oh, come on, I've noticed the jump attacks don't work on these um, uh, plant guys. Um, but anyway, once you kill these guys, they will just um, bring some bouncy pods for you, so it is very nice. Um, okay. Uh, shoot up. Okay, it looks like I have to shoot up there. Alright, oh, uh, don't get my way. Okay, you didn't get my way. Alright. Oh, boy. Oh, nice grab there, Link. Okay, um, okay. Alright, looks like I gotta get up here. So, yes, as I said, this dungeon is very, very, uh, horiz her uh, vertical, not horizontal. Um, so, I guess, okay, so, these little nuts, oh, come on, guys, leave me alone. Alright, uh, yeah, once their wings are, like, gone like that, you can hit them, I think. Uh, but if they weren't so keen on destroying you, it'd be very nice. Alright, can I kill you? Oh, my god. Alright, come on, guys, please, attack them, please. Alright, there we go, now two of them are done, so let's kill these guys, dang it. These are some of the most annoying enemies in the game, I have to say that right now. Oh, nice dodge, dude. Not for long. Ha. Well, I guess you can't take back the dodge. Um, but anyway, if we cut down these... Nope, that didn't work. Uh, if we cut down this... Er, looks like we can't do anything with this yet until we get an item later in the dungeon. Um, so let's keep on going here, and we will go back to that door that we couldn't get into later. Ooh, I remember this room. I think I remember this room. This green pollen starts coming down. And we see it's the mother of all creepy bird things, bugs. Who farts fire? Ah, so we got the mini boss theme here. Um, this guy is not too hard. Oh, yep. Yeah, now I'm gonna die. Now I'm gonna die. Alright, trying to get these guys off you. This is where they get annoying. Because this... Oh my god. Alright, let's just kinda kill you guys. Kinda. No, we're gonna fully kill you guys. Okay, we're kinda almost dying here, so let's get some of these hearts. Thank goodness there's hearts. Um, alright, kill. Dang it. Alright, I should counter next time. Let's kill you guys. Alright, get another heart. Luckily, this place is filled with hearts. So let's go. Oh, nope, didn't work. Alright, backflip. Oh, whoa! Cool! Countered him without even having to. Uh, trying to. Alright, so once you cut off his wings, he will just become one of those little enemies. See, we're going so slow now, we're just trudging through the whole thing. Look at our jump slashes. We jumped two feet off the ground. Alright, once he dies, I'm pretty sure his, his minions die too. Uh, probably not, actually, though. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, I wanted to kill them all in a flurry of awesomeness. Um, but anyway, we got one of these orbs here and a golden feather. We got two of those. Um, so that uh, Dorito on Dragon Roost, he said that he would only want one of them, but really he wants like 20 or something. So keep a lookout for skull necklaces, uh, heroes, heroes, crests, and um, joy pendants, and golden feathers. Those are the things you want to watch out for. Um, so we got the boomerang now. Target specific objects by holding the button, you see, see it, and aiming something until the red targeting cursor does this. You can target up to five objects at once. So, 
now we can get through the dungeon a whole lot easier because this is what we will use. Um, so right now, this is just kind of some practice. Um, whoopsies, I have to equip the boomerang first. Dang. Um, I, yeah, as I said before, I like uh, these um, doing the gyro things with R because then you can access your sword more easily, and it's very nice. And it'll come back to you all, all a uh, boomerang style. I guess it is a boomerang, so it would obviously do that. Um, but um but all right um yes this is the other way for easily taking care of these guys so basically just target them with your boomerang and their wings will get chopped off completely all right come on target please okay now we got this um the boss of this dungeon is one of the most infuriating bosses for me i hate its guts like seriously i do um it took me forever to beat the first time but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it so, we don't want to slash these things, we want to cut the ropes here, because then, oh, never mind, never mind. Um, yeah, now we can use the boomerangs to open these doors, I believe. Yes, we can, cool. Alright, so that'll get rid of those guys, and we don't have to get worry about carrying walnuts anymore. Oh boy. So this is where targeting five things comes into very much handy, because now we can just kind of clear this path that is obstructing us from crossing with our Deku Leaf. And it'll be all nice. So the boomerang is very long range. Link must have amazing, like, arm skills to be able to pull that off. Um, but anyway, that that is the room we were, like, at before. I really hope if you fall, you get, like, to respawn up here. Because it, it was a while uh, since we went into that room. So we got a joy pendant. Awesome. Yes, we've heard the joy pendant spiel before. Jeez. Alright. So this is another, this is the huge plant that we saw earlier. So if we cut its ropes, uh, there was a little tapestry, tapestry, like, obstruction down there, and it'll crush it for us. So now, we can take a leap of faith! Doom! Oh, nice save there, Link. Um, so yep, now we're down on the basement floor. Let me check my lap, map. Yes, we're on the basement floor. Um, and this seems like a great time to end off the episode so, on the next time, on The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, we will be HD. We will be going further into the Forbidden Forest and checking out that boss that I hate so much. See you guys then.